Yeah, hello everybody, welcome back. Bumper here, and yeah, I have a problem. I cannot stop impressioning. I have this was my first, and works good. Then the second one turned out really nice. For some reason, it worked really good. Didn't show that on video, but yeah, just worked like a charm. Also, the first one I didn't film, just a short in the end. And then my set, my this one, yeah. I wanted to do a very nice video on this one, and yeah, it failed horribly. If you've seen me do it, I had it open, at least opening in one direction, and then I just kept filing and kept optimizing, and then I filed too much and it didn't open anymore. So, yeah, you should know when to stop and impressioning, it seems. And yeah, so I thought, well, two times it works quite good, third time it works horribly, so I still want to get a working key for this one, so I will take you along today in impressioning this one. So, yeah, I will get this in a vice, different, a little bit different setup than last time, and then I will take you along and again show you the view on the magnified camera so another impressioning video to come so much editing <laughs> anyhow let's get started so here we are back in the vise and actually um i already failed once i don't know where i lost it but yeah i just kept filing and filing I had good marks in between, but then I lost it somehow. And as you can see, it doesn't open. So I want to try again. And <clears throat> so I prepared already a fresh blank. I just sanded it down a bit with fine sandpaper and 600 grit. And as you can see, it is very smooth. Small scratch here, but we can ignore that. So let's get started. Okay, you can see them all. Very nice. Here's our first, second, third, fourth, and fifth position. So, actually, you can take that away. Let's mark them. Sharpie. So it's easier to file. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so I just cleaned up one and two again, and now they are all. Yeah, it doesn't work with the focusing. One, 
why actually? Come. Maybe yeah, we'll come back in a second. I'll show you how clean it is now. And then we'll try to find our first marks. Okay, I'm not so convinced. So here we have a good scratch in one. I will clean that up, I don't know. And in five, definitely, just on the edge here. Okay. Anything in one. But again, a scratch here in five, I think. Yeah, actually, five is a good dot. Hard to see on, on the camera. A good spot in five. Five, it's on the very edge now, hard to show. I think I saw something in four. Let's see if it comes back. I see something small in four. Yeah, do you see that small dot there that came back after cleaning it? In five, there's something on the edge here on the top in, in your picture, the right side of the key. And I think in one also here towards the bow, there's a good dot. Yeah, 
and then three. Something in one, two, and five. Uh, let me show you. Here in two, you see some scratches. Five. Is that a good dot? So better to see in the reflection actually. So in one, and in four, and in five. So I see good spots in five, three and two, uh, one, also in four. So definitely in five, one. Let me show you again. I see a good spot here in one. Nothing too. Check the reflections again. They're much better. Yeah, I see a good spot in one and five and four. spots in one five four something maybe in three 
I will clean that and then you can see again if it comes back. Just just cleaning again three and four and five get good spots. Okay, good spot in one, five, do you see that small dot? And I see something in four, and three, and two, I'm, I'll leave those alone. Yep, very nice spot. So I'll show you this on the camera again. So we see that we're uh, there's a good spot in one, in two we are a bit off. The spot is much narrower to the bow, bow of the key. Let's have a look in the camera. So here in one, we see a good spot. Just right here, and here in two, there's a spot towards the bow, and three, maybe a small dimple here. I will clean that off and we will see. And four, I don't see anything. And in five, there's a good spot. I see a small dot in four and just clean it off. And in two, I'm not so sure. Let's just clean it. Still giving a good dot. Four and five also. So, still good spot in five and one, and something also in four.
Let's see. Yeah. Five and one, clearly. Four, not so much anymore. Uh, still a little. I actually don't see if I'm working here. I should change that. Just like that. quite different mark and five has disappeared i see still a good mark and, and four just on the edge and on one i see a good mark so A good spot in one. I will show you this in a close up. And not much else. Let me have a look. Just one for now. But this is indicating so good. And here it doesn't look so impressive, but if you look on the reflection, just right there. Maybe there's also something here too. We'll find out. I see also something in five. Okay, still a good mark in one and something appearing again in four. Just on the edge here. And something in five. Clearly in one. The others not so much.
still a good dent in one, but it's getting less clear as it used to. Cleaned it too. Didn't see much there. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, here in two, there's something on the shoulder, so maybe I've missed that valley quite a bit in the beginning, but huh, not so clear here. Maybe a small scratch here in five, small scratch in four. Nothing in one anymore, so one seems to be completed for now. I ah, know I still see a small dot, but let me clean up two first. Not too much. to tell. So we see a little scratch in one and then in two Yeah, okay. Now we have a very good marking in two and still some slight marking in five and one. 
but let's focus on two for the moment. See if two comes back. Okay, still something in two. Now, of course. Uh, Metal is a bit annoying because it's so asymmetric. Okay, very good spot in two. Let me show you this one actually, because it's so much on the edge. Not so sure if I can show it so good here. So here's two. And there you see it. That deep dimple. Yeah, still good mark in two, just on the very edge. Still a good mark on two. Still a very good mark on two. Okay, the mark on two is getting a bit, bit less prominent. One is acting up again and also on four I see now a good mark. So let's have a look. So here in one we see a dimple and two still something, but not that much anymore. Three is clean and in four. Saw something. So 
There's a small dimple and in five just a tiny scratch. So one, two and four. Okay, good mark in one, shallow mark in two. Let's just keep with one first. No, I will also clean up two. Okay, I see a good deep mark in five. Let me show you this here. Um, focus, focus, focus. There we go. This is a very deep spot. Yeah, nice. Here, a tiny bit. Here, a tiny bit. And in one, nothing so clearly. So let's start with five. Just clean up two and four carefully. Just so you don't see the marks anymore. Very light strokes. And I had the feeling the key was turning quite a lot already. Okay, so one is marking again, five and four still, and two, let me show you, we're getting close now I think, I hope, just a tiny little mark here in two, some scratches in four, and five. Okay, so I want to clean up one, two, three, four, five gets two strokes. I think five is still a good candidate. Maybe four. Hmm. 
nothing in three, right? Okay, let's see. So something at four, five, two and one. Okay, still five, four, two, and a little bit on one. Just turn the core a bit. Let's see. I think five, definitely five. Yeah. Come on, come on. We are close. Let's not screw it up. Come on. No, I can definitely feel the core turning. Yes, super stiff. I hope I didn't screw it up. No. But you see strong markings in two, four, and five. Let me show you. Here, here, and here. Let's clean them up. So at this point you want to go super slow. Otherwise it might be too late. Okay, definitely turns. Nice. <sighs> No, it is still quite hard to turn. Let's see if it indicates clearly. Okay, yeah, five still, and maybe a bit four. Let's clean up five. How about now? Come on, come on. Yeah, much better already. Aha, uh -huh, this side is super smooth already. So now is the question. 
keep going or not? Uh, I can see two. Let's keep going for just a tiny bit. I can make it worse now. Come on. It's not too bad already, but can I improve it? Or can I make it worse? But there is so good marks, I have to keep going for just a tiny bit. Okay, we take it out. I just have to stop the filing. Come on. Okay. Let's see. Okay, nice. So, perfect. I will not keep filing. I think this, yeah, super happy. <laughs> awesome. I think this lock is also a bit beat up. I don't know if it was snapped or what, but it turns different depending on where you are in the core. So here it turns a bit stiffer. And so I think my the pins would are close to perfect at shear. So let's have a look at the key, what it turned out to. So this is what the key looks like. Let's have a look at the last key I tried to make. And yeah, completely different. I don't know where I went wrong. But yeah. So let's put it the other way around. I think I was, I must have been close at some point, but then I started filing at pin 3. <laughs> and this was bad. But do you see how good the other pins overlap? Uh, the cuts in, in 1 are identical, almost 2, and 3 is bad. <laughs> this is the one that kept me out. And... 4 is identical and 5 is also very close. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but I filed too much on 3. And yeah, if, let's get a blank actually, because I think that pin 3 almost zero lift right so here's a blank yeah so this is very close to zero lift so very short key pin and you can easily over file this one so yeah very nice example for impressioning super happy I have another lock now with a key even though this will never get used I guess but yeah, it's, impressioning is really amazing. It is fascinating that you can just create a key just from sticking it in there and turning it. And I love how much brass you create or brass dust you create during the process. And very satisfying. So everybody who's still here, thank you very much for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Please subscribe. Bye.